The thing is that uh, Susia is unfortunately uh, not a lone example. We are seeing uh, an increasing number of demolitions, uh, demolition orders being issued and also executed in Area C uh, in these uh, years. And it uh, goes from herders in the uh, South uh, Hebron Hills to uh, Bedouins in the so-called E1 uh, area, which is uh, the last uh, window around uh, Jerusalem uh, that's uh, still open uh, to uh, the uh, West Bank. Every month, uh, the uh, European Union Humanitarian Agency, which is very active uh, in um, Area C, in trying to furnish humanitarian support, uh, including for those uh, families uh, that are being uh, subjected to uh, demolition of their homes. Every um, month, uh, they report uh, between five and seven EU-funded projects, uh, humanitarian projects in Area C that are being uh, demolished. And this is um, obviously a, a question of great concern after all uh, this is uh, European uh, taxpayers' uh, money, and um, we um, are in quite an in intense dialogue with the uh, Israeli government uh, on how to uh, avoid uh, this kind of um, uh, result. 